Well, NBC reporter Dishishi Hamfungu now joins us on the line from Kinshasa. Good evening, Dishishi. Uh, good evening, Blanche. Uh, very good evening to the team there and, of course, to our wonderful viewers. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Then what is, what is the latest where you find yourself as the, the polls are set to open tomorrow? Absolutely, Blanche. Uh, the polls will open just a little under 12 hours from now across the Democratic Republic of Congo, but apart from, of course, those three affected areas, mainly in the North Kivu province and uh, one particular area in Western Congo as well, where the, the Electoral Commission has not conducted uh, voter registration due to the ongoing conflict. But everywhere else, everything is in place. We have been ensured by the Electoral Commission. Uh, we've heard as of last week already they started deploying uh, material, they started deploying uh, personnel to the various polling stations. And in fact, right now, the country is observing what is known as electoral silence or blackout, which, of course, uh, does away with any campaigning of any sort for 24 hours prior to uh, the opening of polls, just to allow the electorate to really reflect and perhaps get a clearer picture of who they want to vote for. Blanche, uh, right now, as we're speaking uh, today, uh, the Electoral Commission cleared all campaigning material uh, within a 100-meter radius of all polling stations uh, as, of course, a uh, requirement of the Electoral Act. Uh, but I can tell you, uh, there have been a few doubts up until yesterday even, which was the last uh, campaigning day. But I can tell you at this point in time that it's all systems go for these elections. The people of the Democratic Republic of Congo will indeed go to the polls tomorrow to vote for a new president, to vote for a new legislature, and, of course, for provincial leaders across the country. Mm -hmm. Now, Dishishi, has the Electoral Commission of uh, DRC made other arrangements for those or eligible voters who find themselves in conflict-prone areas? Uh, unfortunately, not, Blanche. As I mentioned earlier, the, due to the ongoing conflict there, it was impossible uh, for the electoral officials to properly capture um, the, the, the electorate there in terms of registering them due to the conflict. And also, during that period, uh, there was flooding experienced in the, the North Kivu province of the country. A combined uh, 30 personnel, electoral personnel, lost their lives uh, due to that combination of flooding and the raging conflict. So there will be no elections in the North Kivu province, uh, specifically Masisi, Ruchuru, and one other area uh, in the western part of the country. But the, EC, the Electoral Commission has, of course, uh, started deploying all material across the country. And at this point in time, they are sure that... ...population. Now, those finding themselves in the north, uh, northern Kifu province excluded, do you have any idea how many people have registered who are set to go to polls tomorrow to elect uh, their leaders of choice? Yes, some 43 million, Blanche, uh, some 43 million electorate uh, have been registered for these elections. Uh, remember, the DRC is one of the most populated areas on the globe, and not just the continent, uh, having some 100 million plus people. So, yes, so roughly 44 million people have been registered. There are 44 eligible voters uh, who will go to the polls tomorrow. Uh, the DRC is such a vast country, the second on the continent, just after Algeria, uh, which spans over just two, two, uh, two million square kilometers, Blanche. And it is going to be quite, you know, a, a task for the Electoral Commission. They have told us, you know, about the delay that they experienced as well. They had a 28-month delay uh, mm -hmm. to the preparations for these elections. But things are going ahead at this point in time. Yeah. So things will go ahead at this point in time. And where will you be updating us from tomorrow when the polls open? Yes, we're just quickly ironing out the uh, last few details regarding President Chisakedi and where he will be casting his vote. We are hoping to capture him or catch him there at that particular polling station. Uh, we also know that uh, several other high-level delegates, including that of the head of mission, um, of the Static Electoral Observation Mission. That's uh, Mr. Eb Enoch Kavindele, former Vice President of Zambia, will also be, of course, uh, going around the polls, and we hope to follow him as well. Uh, Blanche, I must say, it's all eyes on DRC right now. The African Union is here. Uh, the African Union, 
observation mission headed by former president of Madagascar, uh, Harry, I will not try to pronounce his last name right now, but you remember the president with a very long surname. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, there is indeed a lot of interest. Uh, remember that this is an issue that not only affects uh, the people of the DRC, but also affects much of the Sadek region and the broader uh, African region. So yes, there is interest. Uh, unfortunately, the East African community, which, which uh, the DRC joined recently, uh, will not be observing uh, these elections on the ground. But they have issued a statement today saying that they will be, of course, observing from their headquarters in Tanzania. I don't know exactly how, as they haven't provided those details. But at this point in time, it's all eyes on the DRC.